work together. As the mouth opens, notice how the jaw bone rotates in the joint but stays braced against the skull with the cartilage disc cushioning between the two bones. As Sue closes, notice how the jaw rotates back, staying braced and cushioned at all time until all teeth come into contact at the same time. At the end of the chewing stroke or opening and closing cycle, all the teeth have come together into the bite and the jaw bone and disc are braced against the skull. What would it look like if Sue had a bite problem? Her jawbone starts off braced in the joint, but as she closes, her teeth come into contact prematurely in the back so that in order for the rest of her teeth to come together, her jaw has to come out of its socket down and backward to avoid the early contact which can be damaging and painful to the teeth. This is why we say that Sue has an unstable joint and is not braced throughout the opening and closing cycle. During the daytime, Sue's brain programs her muscles to make sure that the bite always comes together evenly, avoiding the early tooth contact in the back of the mouth by keeping the jawbone out of the joint socket. During sleep, the brain wants to rest and not worry about constantly programming the muscles, so instead it tells the muscles to either clench or grind the teeth so that they stay locked together. The jaw stays out of the socket all night and the muscles of the head and neck are working constantly during sleep. Since these muscles get overworked every night, they become fatigued, leading to spasms and inflammation. The result of the chewing system being constantly overstressed is breakdown of the teeth, gums, bone, and joint, and finally pain such as headaches and migraines, neck and shoulder pain, or popping and clicking of the jaw joint, among other symptoms. With an orthotic that bioesthetic dentist Colomago splint, the jaw bite relationship can be stabilized. Notice how the jaw joint is staying braced in the joint against the cartilage disc when the teeth bite against the mago. Sue has been treated with the mago splint to relax the muscles and let the jaw joint stay in its proper location. This is a diagnostic process that helps the dentist and patient learn what is causing the pain and what could change if the jaw joint stays in place. From this information, a final treatment can be formulated. Treating this problem will result in the bite and jaw joint becoming healthier and the muscles getting well-deserved rest. The result is that Sue will probably feel and sleep much better.